I tell you what, automation is wicked, wicked in a great way. The reason for that is going to be labeled out in this three part video where I'm going to talk about exactly what automation means to me and how it's helped me in my business and what it can do for you from a personal or business standpoint in order for you to work a more productive and effective life or just, you know, save time, make money. Ching. Here are the three reasons that you need to automate using apps like Zapier and make.com. First and foremost, we're not even going to get into the it saves you time concept. Uh, duh, automate equals not doing thing after you set up the process. It's very basic. You make something, it does the thing. Every time you would have done the thing, then it saves you time. Yeah, I, I'm not going to make that one of the reasons, but I was just going to label it out at a basic level and extrapolate on the thought a little bit here. So the reason that it's important to talk about it from a time savings perspective, not just in the individual tasks, but in the scope of things is pretty important. A lot of people cannot fathom work growth in numbers in general in a non-linear fashion. The human mind doesn't really get how exponents work. Something very important to point out here is that with automation, if you have a process and a framework to automate work, this is something that is infinitely scalable. If you're at a company where there is a potential person who delegates work or creates tasks in order to delegate work, and you are able to automate that process, if you expand your book of business, it not only automates that specific task in the current situation that you're in on a recurring basis, so essentially automating the task once and then extending that over a time horizon that is infinite, but you also have the capability to utilize frameworks and automations where if I, for example, make a new folder, a new Notion entity, it not only creates it for my internal videos, it also creates it for my client videos. And it also creates folders for my newsletters and client newsletters and client short form videos and my short form videos and my pod, right? Like I have a framework and then I make a tweak and then it infinitely can expand this concept to create folders, automatically assign tasks, automatically tell people that the tasks are completed when they are. And most importantly, it actually automatically delegates work based on an equation that I made. Once the framework and the equation were made, if at any point I have a massive situation company-wise where there's like a bunch of small teams working on different clients, I can infinitely utilize this to essentially not automate just one roll away, but imagine automating half of a project management job. And if you need a lot of project managers at a company, you essentially half the cost with, you know, subtract whatever the automation costs are. Very marginal in comparison. Pennies on the tens of thousands of dollars that would have been spent doing something that can just be scaled. Reminders, tasks, assigning, updating, creating folders. I mean, all these things are just ridiculously useless waste of time that if you set up a framework in a couple minutes, you never have to do it again. So I would say first and foremost, it's scalability of tasks and time saving is most important. Now, number two, which is also equally as important in the same aspect, if it doesn't really require a human element, i.e. making a Google Drive folder with the right Premiere Pro template and the name matching the Notion entity or the database entity versus the folder name, like the fact that after I made this video, the three reasons you need to automate more matches the name here and I didn't have to make this Google Drive folder. I didn't have to make this Premiere Pro template. And even if I change the name here, it's going to update it in there. These are all things that people on my team would do manually or I would do manually. People would mess this up because they're human. Now, robots have errors, but they have them pretty infrequently. And inside of any automation, you can literally do things called error handlers or essentially, you know, they can like retry to do it or fix the problem every minute or so after the error occurs. So if you have a process that's pretty streamlined, it saves you time in another factor, which is nearly unquantifiable, saving you time on rework, which is wild to conceptualize in your head. Scalability and removing human error are only two things on the table that mean a lot for your business or yourself. The third thing is that it improves the way that you approach setting up systems for yourself or your business because you're thinking about it in ways that data is connected. This also not only helps in the way that your business will run, but quite literally, since I have utilized this in my own systems, I think clearer when trying to make systems. I understand how things should be put together a little bit better because I spent time 
automating things and trying to figure out how do data points connect and how can I make them more efficient. By reducing the space in digital work from point A to point B for employees, yourself, whoever, you're gonna have a more efficient workflow, right? So if you put yourself in a bind where you have to figure out how to connect these things together, like Notion or Google Drive, with make.com as a medium or Zapier, you end up thinking, how does data work together? If then, filters, formulas, all this kind of stuff. It's just like Neil deGrasse Tyson said, people who say math isn't important are missing the boat on this conversation. The real deal is that if you end up learning how to do math, you think better because you did critical problem solving on a difficult math problem. Uh, that is something that is definitely the case with automation. I haven't done math in a while at a high level, but I know I can do if then logic with the best of them now because of all the dang filter work and conditional formatting and logic I've done in the last year or so. Like following a string of logic inside of an automation, I believe it's helped me improve my system building and also has helped me improve everyday situations in work or in life because I can follow a string of like filter out the situation prior if the filter ends up being completed. It's weird how that kind of works, but tangibly doing work ends up improving your mind in a lot of different ways. And if you're doing meaningless grunt work all the time, like making folders, I think it's important to reappropriate that time into a task like building automations that ends up saving you time but also ends up improving your clarity of thought when it comes to system building. Those are the three main reasons that I would recommend that you automate anything with Zapier or make.com. And if you're looking for more content on how to improve your skills using productivity tools, make sure to check out ones like this one right here.